me, could you? I told you I stopped playing ages ago. Oh, come on, Terry. It's your turn to hide. Well, let's get back now. Mum wants us home for dinner. Don't be daft. She gave us pasties. You ate yours, didn't you? You can have a bit of mine if you like. Do you want some? No. Oh, Terry, don't go. It's your turn to hide. Come on. Brace your back. Ready? Steady? No. You always win. <laughs> what was it? Oh, sonic boom, maybe. Not allowed, are they? Sounded like thunder. Quick, find some cover. Let's get home, shall we? No, the cave, quick. Where did it come from? I don't know. We'll get back as soon as it goes off, shall we? Yeah. Bound to stop soon, isn't it? Of course it will. It's what they call a freak storm. Funny, all that rain. I'm not very wet. We're safe in here. I... I think it's going off now. Let's get home, shall we? I'm hungry, Terry. I expect Mum will be wondering where we are. Uh, I'll just go and see if it's stopped, shall I? Shh! There's someone in here. <laughs> Was closer. I don't mind so much now that I can see where we're going. Funny sort of light, isn't it? Um... What was that? It's all right. There's nobody here. It's all right. Look. See nothing. Come on, then. Let's... What do you think you're up to? We were just trying to find out what the sounds were. So it wasn't you, then? No. Sounded like somebody calling for help. 
So we... Yeah, well, they can't be far off. Been in here before, have you? I know these caves like the back of my hand. Good. You can show us the way out. When we found her, it is making all this noise. Oh. Not scared, are you? No. Help me. There it is again. Come on. Do you live round here? Yes. My name's Terry. This is my sister, Helen. Hi. I'm Phil Church. Enjoy your hide and seek. So it was you, was it? Making noises in the bushes? Of course. Do you always go around scaring people? Only sometimes. What are you on about, Terry? Oh, nothing. You know these caves, Phil. Have you ever seen this kind of light before? It's phosphorescence, from the mica in the stone. Phosphorescence? What about that sudden rain, then? And thunder and lightning? The storm was in the stratosphere. Too high for us to see. Clear air turbulence caused the thunder. Simple. What school did you go to, then? Crossford. Why? Are they all like you up there? Like what? All clever, intelligent sort of. No. Where? This is where it came from, isn't it? Yes, but... And tackle. Need a flipping crane. Heavy equipment. We'll never get him out. Does it hurt? Weighs about two tons. Nearer three. We'll have to get help. Can I get you anything? You need a lever of some sort. I've got a pasty. We'll never do it. Even the three of We've us. Got to do something. What? Find an old scaffold pole or a plank. Children. All my efforts, the energy, the power I can ill afford to waste, and I get children. Where's the others? What others? I heard other voices. No, 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 no. I need help. We'll do what we can. We can get help. No, there's no time for that now. Have you been in here long? Oh, yes. Ever so long. And now I am to die here, trapped in cold stone. I, Rothko, one of the most high. Rothko? You cannot comprehend the power I have expended to summon you here to help me. Only to find that you are children and useless to me. Why? Because... Well, since you are so keen, we can but try. First, release me from this prison. Well, how can we without equipment? The only equipment you will need is the power that lies within you. That's impossible. My being here is impossible, is it not? I don't know. What do you want us to do? Right, first, put your hands on the stone, all of you. Fingers touching. Now, concentrate on the stone. Think of nothing else. Think of the stone lifting, lifting from my body. One of you is not concentrating. You, boy, think of the stone. Think of it rising into the air. Think. Think. See? We did it. Look, we did it. Yes. With my help, you did it. But how? Yeah, how? United and believing, three children have sufficient power. What kind of power? The 
power that makes rain, and thunder and lightning in a clear sky, the kind that lights these caves for you. So it's not clear air turbulence, nor phosphorescence. It could have been. Why? Why did you bring us here? I needed help. Now I see it can be your help. With all your power, you need us to help you? At this moment, my powers are confined to this prison and the inner time. Static, stagnant time. A time that corrodes me, breaks my spirit and will to live. I do not want to die here. Without the Nidus, I shall perish. 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 How do you understand? You, you really mean you'll die? Yes, child. Come on, let's get out. No, wait a minute, Terry. No! You must not leave. See what I can do even now! <laughs> from me. Without the Nidus, I am nothing. Nidus? It is the means to free me from this prison. Help me. Help me find it. We'll help you. Do you all wish to help me? No. Yes. If you will. Help you do what? Tell us what you want, then we'll decide. Think as children of wizardry and sorcery, and then you'll be almost there. What's this thing you want us to help you find? That's some sort of power source, isn't it? Energy or something? No. I am the source. My will. The Nidus is the mirror of my will, reflecting it outwards across the stars. With it, I am whole. With it, I could astound you with my powers. Now, if you could help me get it back. You want the Nidus? So that you can have more power? Yes, child. For good or for evil? I may use my powers in a way that is not evil. Does that equal good? Or I may use them in a way that is not good. Does that equal evil? I find it almost impossible to explain to minds that run on rails the concept of the noetic state, where fundamental realities run backwards, sideways and downwards from the unsteady basis of what you call truth. I suggest you do not question what you think of as my morality. Let us rather concern ourselves with the task you are about to perform. Where is the Nidus? How do we find it? You must travel from this place. How far? In one way, you need travel no further than this cavern. In another, you will travel further than you ever have before. I'm still weak. I need your concentration once again. 
all your strength. What do we think about this time? Paths. Just paths? What kind? The paths of my mind. Do you see them? What's it for? You know it is many things. It has survived as a memory in the human race from the beginning. Those primitives who first encountered it scratched the pattern onto cave walls as if the image itself could bestow powers upon them. Later, it was a place to bury the dead, a timeless place or so they thought. Then a garden novelty, the maze, the serpentine, the labyrinth. To me, it is a simple means of transport. Transport? Step into it. It's like a game. You find the paths that take you home. I don't want to, nor me. Why can't you find the Nidus? Use your own power to get it back. I need your powers, all three of you together. Step into the labyrinth. You must. No, let us out. What is it? I just can't get through. A force field. It's a force field. Oh, gobbledygook. Call it what you will. What little powers I have left I need to concentrate in the labyrinth. Do not resist me. Help me retrieve the nidus. No, I'm afraid. Afraid? So Bellor was right. I waste my time with children. Very well, you may go if you wish. Leave. You are free to go. It's gone! What shall we do? This is all because of you. He said he'd die. And you believed him, didn't you? I think it's true. I saw Bellor, the one who's trying to kill him. He will die. Look at him! Well, Terry, what shall we do? I don't know. He hasn't actually harmed us, has he? Not actually yet, no. I say we help him. You seem to think we have a choice. You with us? I suppose so. Uh, Rothko. Uh -huh. We've decided to help. Help? Are you sure? All of you? Quite sure? Tell us what you want us to do. The Nidus is somewhere in the past. You must find it. It was stolen from me in the past. You must travel there. Without me, I am too frail to endure the forces of the labyrinth. The paths will take you to whichever time I choose. The only limit being that of my own ever-shortening existence. Find the Nidus. Bring it to me. What does the Nidus look like? It has no settled form. To each person it is something different. But most important, it can only be seen in reflection. In a mirror, in water, a crystal. Then it will shine brightly. I don't believe it. That defies the law of physics. How can it? Laws! Have I not told you we are outside your laws, no longer in that realm? The Nidus can only be seen if reflected. It is a simple fact. Do you accept that? If you say so. Do you believe it? Yes. Do you believe it? Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Very well. But take care. There will be danger. There is another like me, Bellor, the one who wants me dead. It was she who caused me to lose the Nidus and imprison me here. That's the woman I saw. She's horrible. So Bellor has the Nidus? No, the Nidus is mine. Bellor cannot possess it until I am dead. She can only deny it to me. And to you, of course. How? By pushing it on through time. But you can stop her. Together you have the power. When you find the Nidus, form a circle around it and link hands. And then think of my eyes. Think of my eyes. What if we need your help? I will be there. You must find me. You said you couldn't travel through the labyrinth. Good boy, good thinking. But you see, I have lived in the times you will visit. You lived? Who were you? Where will we meet you? You must find me. I will not know you until you call my name. Then I can help you. Now come. One thing more. You will not wish to be conspicuous where you are going. Put them on. Now follow my instructions. Take this path. Go on. Turn right. That's it. Now left. Now sharp right. Go on, that's it. things. Helix, a breeze. We must be near the entrance. Do you recognize anything? What do you mean? You said you knew these caves at the back of your hand. Do you know where we are? Well, no. Not if we've traveled in time. Oh, you don't believe that, do you? Why not? If we've ever been through anything like that just now, while the whole world was spinning apart, we've just been through a tempo-spatial matrix. Rubbish. Just like the business with the light in the tunnel and the storm. You made all that up. OK, so you're scared, right? Yeah, oh, stop you... it, you two. Let's try and find out where we are. Can you hear anything? Yes, a sort of tinkling. Let's try the door. But the breeze was coming from here. Come on, Terry, give me a hand. No, let's follow the tunnel. Come on. No. What's the matter? Are you scared? Aren't you? Come on. Creepy. Do you still think we're not in the past, then? I suppose you're going to tell us you know what these things are. Oh, I think I do. Japanese, aren't they? Not these. What, then? I read somewhere that the druids of ancient Britain used things like these as talisman, charms, to keep away evil spirits. What time do you reckon we're in, then, Mr Brain? Oh, I couldn't say for certain. That makes a change. Anywhere between 500 BC and 500 AD. Oh, great. Look! Which of you is he? Which one? <laughs> 